the first ever fully automated hotspot restaurant with robot chefs and waiters, has been opened to the public in Beijing, China's capital. Haidi Lao, a famous Chinese hotspot chain, has teamed up with Japanese technology giant Panasonic to open a restaurant where robots take orders, prepare and deliver the dishes. In the dining hall, six humanoid robots can be seen moving back and forth between the kitchen and the eating area. Once diners have put in their orders, it takes the robots less than 10 minutes to deliver the dishes. The only time a human staff will step in is when the robots are too busy or when certain specific dishes with ice are requested. As one of the co-founders, Zhu Mengyi says it is quite a challenge getting the concept off the ground. Back in 2016, we conducted a lot of research into small restaurants in Europe and Japan, but we found there was very little to refer to. The restaurants had some smart technology, but not for the whole system. That's why we had to take it on our own. We had no other option. And Zhu is most proud of the changes in the kitchen. We tried a particularly automated kitchen by giving some mechanical work to robots so as to reduce labor intensity and labor force. It's hardly surprising that this kind of unique offering has become such a huge attraction for Chinese and foreigners alike. I've never heard of the smart restaurants in Korea before, but I've been here is first experience. Diana said they're quite happy with the service, but they do miss the personal element. It's interesting to see the robots delivering the food. The only downside is that robots cannot interact with diners and its service is quite simplex. And traditional waiters have to take care of both customers and these robots, even when there are so many diners. So it adds to their workload. For the robots, they are still in the early stages of development and the future seems bright. The fourth industrial revolution will greatly change the way people work, according to participants at the annual meeting of the World Economic Forum in Switzerland's resort town Davos. We actually have a huge scarcity. That would be a, a huge mistake because, you know, your competitor... Some 3,000 world leaders in politics, economics and technologies have gathered to discuss the major transformations in the new age of globalization. Among the top topics under discussion is how new technologies such as artificial intelligence, robots, biotech and 3D printing are going to change the labor market. Participants agree that the job market is changing faster than before. These are happening faster, people change jobs more often, people need to reskill themselves. I think one thing we need to do much better is learn about the past, learn about history. The forum published a recent survey listing a group of new professions in the next two decades, including junk data engineering, virtual identity guard, and tactile interface designer. But according to Nicholas Henke, a senior associate at McKinsey & Company, a global consulting firm based in Chicago, USA, some traditional professions will remain important. For the next 20 years or 30 years, um, most professions are continuing to be important. For example, if a, a, a patient needs to be diagnosed, you still, the patient still wants to see a doctor or need so the medical skill is still very important. Even if the machine is supporting the diagnosis, it is very important to consider the medical skill of a human in the, and working together with a machine. OPOC CEO pointed out that the new way of studying and working will be replaced by a new one that requires people to constantly reskill themselves. Things like um, you know, analytical skills, communication skills, teamwork, those kinds of things, the machines are not taking them away. You know, the old world where you study for the first 20, 25 years of your life, and then you do the same job for the rest of your life, is gone, right? Our jobs are changing faster than ever before, and we need to reskill ourselves throughout our life. In 2019, WEF was themed, 
Globalization 4.0, Shaping a Global Architecture in the Age of the Fourth Industrial Revolution.